All right, what's going on, everyone? Today we're playing a meta standard deck. This is Gru Aggro. I haven't played a game with this yet, but I've lost to it a lot, so we're gonna try it out. So the idea is very, very simple. We're just playing aggressive creatures. We've got a two power creature on turn one. We have a three power creature on turn two. We've got a thing that gives everything haste on turn three. Uh, turn four, we have stuff like this. Um, and we're just trying to go fast, right? We're trying to trying to play three power stuff early. This gets counters. This distributes counters. This give, this pumps everything, gives everything haste. Um, this deals direct damage to the opponent based on how many modified creatures we have. And we have lots of ways to get counters on stuff. This gets counters. This distributes counters. This distributes counters on the second lore counter. This also gets counters when we play big stuff. So lots of ways to modify creatures, pump creatures, just make them big, make them fast. And we're just trying to kill the opponent as quickly as possible. So let's uh, let's just try this. I haven't played it, but I mean, how hard can it be? It looks simple enough. All right, got a game against Batman himself. Great. This is a little slow. Well, it's, it's, it's all right. Yeah, we, we can keep this. Oh, we do draw land. Just gonna play this tap. It doesn't matter. So we'll play this turn two. Play this turn three with the kicker. We got this turn four. So we have a pretty nice curve. This doesn't matter too much. All right, so we'll play this. Play this. Playing against white aggro, presumably. I mean, this is played in some control decks and stuff, but my initial impression is probably, yeah, it's white aggro. All right. So we can't block this. So we take two. Actually, we can block the one, one. Kill that. Great. So I don't think we're playing this. Uh, actually, we can, right? It has four toughness. This is fine. We will kick it. Sure, get a counter. Attack for four. Maybe I shouldn't be attacking, but I'm going to. I mean, it's basically aggro versus aggro, right? I am playing second, so normally when you play second in an aggro mirror match, it's not a mirror match, but an aggro versus aggro match, your opponent's going to be ahead because they went first. But since you get the extra card, you want to play a little bit more value-oriented as opposed to pressuring. But I'm just going anyway. Faithbound Judge? I always forget what this does. But it flips and does stuff, I don't know. Um, so I take three. I can block the 1-1 one, one token. Yep. Great. So it, um... I don't know, it does stuff. Alright, so probably... Probably this. Play this. Get a counter. So I can put two counters on it and make it a 6-6. Six, six. I think it's better to put the counters here. On the trampler. Attack for five. Keep the 4-4 four, four back to kill Adeline. This is fine, I think. Still don't know what it does. But I think it's fine. Great. So it costs a million and then it does, uh, it chants me. They're never going to have that much mana, I don't think. That's really bad. Yeah, so I was hoping to block the token with the first strike, then kill Adeline, uh, Adeline and maybe they wouldn't notice that. But that's a problem. I'm not going to block with... Or I'm not going to trade with Adeline. Do this. Great. Ascendant Pack Leader. Huh. So I can... have five. So I can't play both of these. So I think I... Play this. Get a counter. Maybe save this till, until second main phase. Um, I'm not going to attack. No, I think I, I, think I just passed this turn. No attacks. I'll just... The reason I was going to save this for second main phase, I was thinking about attacking and seeing if I get the Thalia dead to make this cheaper. But they could just double block here. And I can't kill both our creatures. Because it was a 5-5. Five five. Or was it? Was, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. This is not fine. I mean, they can't attack effectively right now. I guess they can attack all out, lose to Adeline. That's weird. They have no mana. That's reasonable. I still just do this and this, right? Take the three. And then I can kill Brutal Cathar. Um, put the counters here. Submit. 
So I can do... Three here. Two to them. Get this back. I guess I do this here. Give this haste. That's lethal, so they have to block. They should trade here, I think. Block my 5-4 with their 4-2. Gain 4. That's not a... That, that's for strike. Alright, that was wrong. Probably should have attacked with that, actually. In hindsight. But it's fine now. Hot shot mechanic does nothing. Adolene is fine. Another land. I've got super flooded here. Alright, so we give this plus one plus zero. No, I did that backwards. Alright, we'll do this here. Attack with these two. Don't think there's any good traits for them here. I played this super sloppy, but we're still... Still doing fine. That's fine. Um, yep. This is fine. Totally fine with this. Yep. So all their stuff's dead. I mean, they're a white aggro deck that only drew four lands, which is like perfect for them. And I got flooded, and we still did fine. So yeah, not bad. Alright. Yargle versus Yargle. Whew. Need more lands, but I, it's, it's like it's fine. Oh, the freaking This comes into play tapped, so I can't play uh, this turn one. Alright, this is obnoxious, but it's gonna have to do... Could use a land or two. Obscure a storefront. Opponent might be playing a slow deck. They get a white source, I'm thinking that's like the... No? Okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I was thinking it might be like the Sarah Paragon type of stuff. It still could be. They could have white lands in hand. If it's Orzov. I really like that Sarah Paragon deck I played. No one watched it. I think it has like 600 views or something. But big fan of Sarah Paragon. Mono Black? What's going on? You gonna kill my Beast Caller? Fine. Didn't have counters anyway. Alright, so... I think we just play Squee. Play Squee. Uh, the good thing about this is if they have a removal spell for it, it leaves behind the 1-1. And they kind of have to kill it, because the longer it goes, the more power we get. With the more... More and more tokens. Okay. Oh, that doesn't hit Squee. I mean, that's... Fine, I guess. Alright, so I guess we just play this. Has haste. Attack. Make a 1-1. One, one. Put a counter here. Oh, and it goes to 11. Thundering Raiju is so cool. It didn't see play, like, when it first got released, but it's seeing... Like, it's gotten more and more popular as time has gone by. Esper, Soren. We do have, uh, Cammy's Fire. Do we... I, I guess we... Kill this? Do we even go after... 3-6? No, we just kill them, right? Yep. Counter here. Uh, what is this? Oh, attack them. Yep. Great. Well, that was... De aggro. True to name. Alright, Greg. What's Greg playing? We got, um... Got a 1-drop into a 2-drop. Need lands. Actually, I par probably play this turn, too. That is not a land. Do I play that first to get the counter here? I think I like playing this into, uh, into this. Makes their stuff uh, not be able to block. Opponent's playing the enchantment deck. I'm actually going to attack into that because I want that thing to die. You should trade. Should I play this first before it gets too big? Yeah, I'll wait until they trigger it, but I am... I'm killing this because... I don't feel like dealing with that. That's a pain. Katilda. Sure. Which is more... Which is worse for me here? Both of these are bad. I guess I... I still want to kill this. Auto pay. See if I hit a land here. I do. That's pretty good. So I guess I play this. Give itself haste. 
attack for five. They can trade with the pack leader, which I'm fine with. Perfectly happy to get that off the battlefield. They can uh, play it as a disturb enchantment, but they take it actually. Go to 13. The enchantment is uh, scary, but they need to build a board first. We're hoping to kill them before they build a board. That's pretty good. Sure. Hit me for two. Gain two. The life gain is what's going to suck here. I think I'm going to play this, actually. Trample. Haste. Attack for six. They go to nine. So now perfect top deck is a land for this. I think. Oh, god dang it. Alright, fine. 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 Whatever. So now they're gaining life faster than I can deal damage. That's a lot of freaking life. Holy crap. Hit me for seven. Yep. That uh, cannot kill that. Very unfortunate. Um, so I guess we deal a damage. Play this. Auto pay. Attack for two. I think we're losing this one. It was really the life link that killed us. Yep, hit me for seven. Maybe eight if they have another enchantment. If they have another one of these, I lose. Nothing? Alright. So can I deal... It's gonna be 20. 20 damage in one turn. The answer is no, I can't do that. Can't deal 20 to them. Alright. I mean, that would have been pretty good with one land. Alright. Yeah, we lose. If I had a land... What? It's 3, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9. It's still only 10 damage. All right, got another game. These games are going very fast. I'm very consistently not getting enough lands in my opening hand, but it's been fine. I mean, it's an aggro deck. So I would like to play this and this on turn one, but I really want this on turn two. So I think I'm gonna just skip on this. It's fine. If I draw a land, it would have been uh, worth the risk, of course, but I didn't, so it's fine. Play the Beast Caller. Opponent might have a play with fire. Some kind of burn spell for this. I'd like to get two of them. That'd be pretty great. Ooh, Rakdos. So, Blood Tithe Harvester? Nope. Probably holding up removal. I think I am going to... Let's just play this first and see what happens. Get a counter. They should kill it now before I have another creature on board. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So get the, the second one. Play this deal of damage. Great. Next turn, I can kick this for haste. I put this in the challenger deck, and I don't know if people believed me when I said it was good. Oh, but it just concedes. Too much pressure. Uh, they didn't draw lands, actually. All right. Got another game. This is very slow. So we're going second, and our hand is slow. We have an enchantment. No way to get the counter. Nothing to play. We do have two draws. I want to try it. If we lose this game, it's because I kept this hand. Because I'm not confident. Unless I draw a two drop, which I... Oh, no. That's worse. Alright, deal of damage. Yeah, I'm not confident with this hand. The opponent plays like a blue-red. Yeah, I can't get the counter. So that's wasted. Play a land. Who? Should have mulliganed. Opponent's dirtling a bit here. Not doing much. If there is a control... Which we will we'll find out right now. Counter spell? Nothing. Okay, burn spell. Removal spell. That's fine. Fair enough. Alright, pump itself. Attack for three. Great. Get Thundering Raiju next turn. Gotta be sure to play this for the second red source. Do not play the Besiju. Alright, we'll play this. See if this resolves. I'm a little bit doubtful. Big score. Oh, it's an Arcane Bombardment deck. Well, that's just great. Alright, cool. Pump this. Attack. Get a counter. Great. Point it goes to seven. We have a lot of haste stuff in uh, hand. If they're going to try to wipe my board or play spot removal. 
We have stuff coming in hitting instantly. So this could be like a five mana. There's multiple board sweepers, like five damage to everything. There's the Jaya temporal thing. There's burn down the house. So they could wipe my board here. Nothing. I mean, I will take it. I will. I kind of like playing this over the Thundering Raiju because it allows me to hold this up and that could be relevant. Great. I will pump here, trying to just distribute my power. And Vogue Calamity, get to cast two spells. That's fine. It is... There's Burn Down the House. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Um, casting that at instant speed is rough. Is there anything I can do here? Nope. Okay. Yeah, instant speed board wipe like that is rough. You can kill any creature. Well, kill small creatures. Not any creature. Uh, here we go. There's the uh, arcane bombardment. Uh, how about we just... Uh, how about we just do that? How's it feel? You wipe my board. When I'm an aggro deck, I, I kill your, your build around thing. H how's it feel? It's probably not good. I'm just going to guess. Didn't feel good when my board was wiped. Feel like, you know, this is just fair. Play this. Attack. Get a counter. Hit for four. They get a three. Pass the turn. So they probably have an answer, but I have several things with haste that we can draw. If they can kill this. Impulse. Looking for a way to kill it. It was a quick... They, they picked their card quick. Uh, yep, there it is. Sure. What what all can this target? Uh, target creature or planeswalker. Alright. Can't target players. I mean, it makes sense because it deals damage to the player. Alright, so we need to draw our haste stuff. We have lots of haste. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> or that. I think we only have one of those. One lightning strike. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, there we go. All right, so that's Gore Aggro, and I, I think it's it's very simple, right? It just, it goes fast, it hits hard. There's lots of little overlapping synergies, like uh, so much of the deck has haste. Uh, this has haste when it flips. This can get haste. This has haste. This has haste. Uh, this has haste. And then we have the modified sub-theme with this getting counters, and this getting counters, and this distributing counters, and then this dealing direct damage based on counters. So... It's pretty cool. Lots of little overlapping synergies that ultimately just end up in a a, a very fast, aggressive Gruel Aggro deck. So yeah, that's Gruel Aggro. Gives you an idea of what it looks like when you're piloting the deck. Hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.